When it comes to hardware-based CCU control for Blackmagic cameras, we have been the go-to guys for quite a while. We have had the CCU on the market for a long time. We also have the RCPs over here. And with the RCPs, which are designed to control a single camera at a time, there is a particular issue uh, in relation to the uh, ATEM Talkback and studio converters and the camera converters here. And that's what I want to address in this video. But first, let's look at how such an infrastructure is built. So one of the RCPs would, in a classic setup, have the SDI output connected to the input on a Blackmagic camera. So the control data will travel over SDI back to the camera and be able to control the lens and the CCU parameters and so forth. If you channel that SDI signal through a video router or fiber, it doesn't matter. But it needs to come from this RCP to that camera, from this RCP to that camera, and so forth. We get a lot of questions about how can people use the studio converter, the uh, talkback converter with their cameras and our RCPs. And there's a particular challenge. The thing is, where each of these RCPs has a return signal to the camera, a dedicated return signal, these units take a single input that they channel out to all cameras they are connected to. So in other words, we need to embed the control signals into only one SDI signal. The ATEM switcher, which is Blackmagic's only or traditional way of sending CCU data to their cameras, basically solves this because with the software control for the ATEM switcher, you have all cameras lined up in the software. And it's set up right here so we can see how I can uh, adjust the iris of this camera with the mouse. So this is not hardware, this is software, right? And not really so user-friendly, which is why you'll buy our panels. But you see, as I adjust the iris on the monitor over there, I am adjusting the iris, right? If I want to adjust camera two, I just go here and I drag that handle and so forth. The important thing is, from the ATEM switcher, we have a single cable that carries all control data, no matter if we are addressing camera one, camera two, three, four, five, and so forth. All data embedded on the same uh, cable going into the input on the talkback converter, then distributed out over fiber or SDI to the cameras. Everything is fine. But as soon as you hook the RCPs into that, what are you going to do? Because you have a single SDI output for each. So one idea might be, let's change the RCP mode to work with the ATEM switch instead. That's great. And it can be done. You can actually load a profile so the RCP will connect to the ATEM switcher and then over the Ethernet connection to the ATEM switcher adjust the value which is sent out on SDI to the, um, to the talkback converter, studio converter and so forth. The only problem with that is there's a little snake in paradise called number of clients for the ATEM switcher. The thing is, you can only connect between four or five up to eight different clients to an ATEM switcher, and then it will just refuse connection. Ooh. So if you have easily just like three or four cameras, you already have too many clients. That would be four RCPs, each being a client with the ATEM switch, and you couldn't connect your broadcast panel or your software anymore. So because of that limitation, you are sort of stuck. But now comes the solution. The rescue is this little box. And you probably didn't think about that when you saw this whole lineup for, for um, this presentation, that this is in fact what I'm going to present. This little box is the alternative for the RCPs to talking to the ATEM switcher. Instead, we will let these use Ethernet to talk to this guy, which will then multiplex the control signals into a single SDI stream to the cameras. So what I'm going to do now, oh, I can actually just disconnect this cable over here. So this cable previously carried the control for the cameras coming from the ATEM switcher, and I'm now going to plug that into this box called Ethernet SDI Link. So we plug it into the output. And the result is that I'll now be able to adjust iris on my camera with the RCP. Let's see if it works. And on the monitor, you see I'm now controlling the iris of camera one through the Ethernet 
SDI box and I have no more problems with client connections and I can use the talkback studio and camera converters just as I want to control my Blackmagic cameras.